the shark has lovely teeth, dear, and he keeps them pearly white. A series of drawings like that, sped up and changing slightly between each one, produces animation. You don't have to go to those links. You can do it with two drawings and an animator, which you must make out of cardboard and compasses. Here we are. One circle there, the next circle slightly inside it, about that size, and then draw a strip across the middle which takes in the center and cut it out so that you get something like a buckle. Here it is, the cut out piece. And onto one side you stick a combination of blue and purple cellophane, onto the other you stick a combination of red and yellow. And that's how it will appear. Very festive, but that's your animator. Those colors are important. They're complementary or opposites, really. Here we are. Red and yellow together give you a sort of orange, and blue and purple together give you, surprise, surprise, purpley blue. If you look at the light through the red and yellow, it looks like this. Look at the light through the blue, it looks like this. The blue and purple, I should say. But put them together, and you get pretty well no light at all, which means they really are complementary and acting uh, as opposites. Well, that's the effect you want. And we've got them in a wheel, blue on one side, blue and purple on one side, red and yellow or orange on the other. Well, how do we make things animated? By getting some white paper and two pencils. With well, those colors, you need to use orangey yellow and light blue. And this is the effect we get. First of all, look at the paper through the red side while you're drawing with a blue pencil. I'm going to put R there. And it's very obvious, a great big R through the red. If I turn it around to blue, can't see anything. It's vanished. All right, I pick up the yellow pencil, and under the blue filter, I put D. And it's very obvious. Turn it around, and I can't see anything at all except the original R through the red. So these things make blue or yellow disappear. Well, we can take it a step further. Get rid of that piece of paper and we'll draw a simple little face. If you're drawing a face of this kind, you can stay with the bits that you want to, want to appear in every picture by putting them in black. There we are, a peculiar shaped face. Now the happy man, we're going to put his parts in yellow, his eyes and his mouth. The sad man will do in blue, droopy eyes and droopy mouth. And if I look through the wheel, lo and behold, one of these pictures is smiling and the other is sad, smiling, sad. And we'll toss that away and put some better drawings in. Here we are, a rather elaborate man. And to make my color wheel work better, I'm gonna put it on a pencil so I can spin it very slowly. Look through there and I've got a happy man lifting his hat and a sad man putting it on again. Lifting, putting it on, lifting, putting it on. And if I want to turn to the animal world, there we have a very lifelike frog. With my animator, I can actually make him move. 